ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ రావు కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ కేజీ హాస్పిటల్ కోయంతూర్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది వరల్డ్ హార్ట్ డే విచ్ యూ సెలబ్రేట్ దిస్ ఇయర్ విత్ ఎ థీమ్ ఆఫ్ కార్డియో వెస్కులర్ హెల్త్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఎర్లియర్ హెల్త్ డే హార్ట్ డే కాన్సెప్ట్స్ బికాస్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద వరల్డ్ there is a lot of disparity between the health care delivery as for heart is concerned some areas are well the delivery is very good some areas of the world the delivery is not not up to the mark or are appropriate even in many developed countries the blood pressure is still not a well controlled disease even in the america and europe 20 percent of the patients who are having blood pressure they don't know that they got a blood pressure in the same way including india and many countries 20 percent of the population have got increase in the sugar or a pre diabetic it's not diabetic pre diabetic almost 30 percent of pre diabetic but they they are not aware of that if you control basic diseases like blood pressure and hypertension and cholesterol and overweight this will be able to reduce the 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 heart disease by almost 90% we don't require a very expensive technologies to reduce the cardiovascular health burden for the community the basic diseases has to be treated effectively and it has to reach the population to the last man in the villages especially when you speak about the blood pressure and the diabetes and many of these areas including the western countries the policy makers of the country or the of the healthcare delivery system play important role in making a big change in the healthcare delivery in as for as for heart is concerned the number one is pollution of the air pollution we think of whenever you think of the heart we think of the blood pressure and diabetes and overweight but the most important point which we forgot is the amount of air pollution which has reached the enormous proportions and it is also one of the main cause for the leading for the for the heart attack as well as for the strokes so especially in the atmospheric air there is a pollution parameter called pm 2.5 pm 2.5 normally it should be less than 40 micrograms but many of our indian cities the concentration of pm 2.5 is very high this is one of the reason for the increase the blood clotting and thereby strokes and heart attacks so the policy makers has to play an important role in reducing the in the in the air pollution by regulating the air traffic also by providing a, a cycle tracks for people who want to do cycling on the roads unfortunately we don't have cycling tracks in our country somebody wants to go to office by cycle is not able to do it because traffic is there is no separate track for him so we have to provide a cycle track and also encourage in the apartments as well offices to make people use the staircases in the of taking lift in some of the countries especially france in many apartments the the lift will not go for first and second floor the lift will only stop at from third floor onwards probably we can we can introduce some of the systems in our country where people will do more exercise and uh, by by force they will do more exercise than what they are doing now second important thing is the amount of exercise people are are doing on a daily life which we have to put more gyms and more uh, cycle tracks and more walking tracks and and it is the responsibility of the hr leaders in all the offices and the school teachers and all the opinion makers in the society to make people understand about the role of exercise for example when you are giving a promotions in any office it is mandatory it should be mandatory for the hr team to incorporate how much exercise a particular employee is doing it 
there must be some some criteria uh, for that. If you if you if you, unless you impose this uh, impose the new incentives, you, unless you give incentives for doing exercise, people will not do that. In the same way, in the many of the schools doesn't have playgrounds, and the playground are be converted into a buildings. So it's mandatory on the part of the government to not to give a license for a school without a proper playground, and there must be some marks for the amount of time each the student takes. Well, I mean, plays or he participates in the a PT program or any exercise program. There must be some marks for that. Unless to incentivize the system, I I don't think people will 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 will, will take up for exercise in a in a big way. Second thing about I found is that the uh, rice we the potato the, the polished rice is is we 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 take in this country is is another reason for the increase in the incidence of diabetes. Probably the government can come out with a rule that the polishing of the rice, the rice mills should be limited and not fully, it should not be fully polished, so that some amount of some amount of bran is left behind, and that will reduce the glycemic index, and thereby the incidence of pre-diabetes also comes down. There are the various policies can be implemented in a national level, and a state level, and a community level, and this will go a long way in reducing health, our cardiovascular health burden. In the same way, there must be some social worker or a a medical nurse, which may, medical nurse with a three years experience, which they, whom they, whom they they can train these nurses for checking the blood pressure and checking the sugar, and they can go to each house at the village level and check the sugar and check the blood pressure at at the individual level, and who and and people who got a blood pressure or a diabetes. Can be brought brought to the community health center and give a proper treatment. Unless the surveillance is made at the house level, I don't think it's possible to treat the big now large number of cases uh, like a diabetes and high pressure, blood pressure, which is so prevalent in this country. It's very difficult to control unless we make a house to house test and 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 give counseling at the doorstep and treat them in the initial stages. That will go a long way in controlling the. A unnecessary procedures, unnecessary expenses for the bypass operation, angioplasty, and and even including dialysis and and other uh, major procedures we we do for late stage of diseases. And I I hope we will understand this is important for us to not only at the individual level for the national level to conserve resources and make the country more healthy in future. Thank you very much.